Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. Today's beverage is hmm, quite tasty. That is pineapple and grapefruit juice. Normally something I don't mix because I'm not a big fan of pineapple, but this brand is quite good. So it is also less acidic than something that has been recently added, apparently. So let's go to the airship editor and we can see we have ooh, an acid spitter. That sounds a bit naughty. Powerful acid extracted from the glands of horrifying creatures, capable of eating through even the strongest armor in time. Blast damage 10, splash distance 8 meters, and it also burns... The, ooh, maximum accurate range 360 meters, shoots troops and planes within 57 meters. Right, let's make something with that attached, shall we? What else have we also got? Uh, ventral turret, suspendium, saw blades, uh, nothing else there. But I do want to try this acid spitter out. So, what I'm going to do is make a bit of a... Actually, you know what? Let's just go to open design. Uh, let's see if we can find something that... Ah, there we go. Chop Fighterington. That's fairly garbage, and we'll get rid of that bit. And then we'll go over to the weapons, acid spitter, and bang. There you go. Job done. That was very, very, very easy. Actually, we'll have to go forward somewhat and probably put some sort of ammo because we don't have any, and I believe this does use ammo. So let's go to resources, go down to small ammo store. There we go. That should do it. So, armor is wooden. I think I'll do. Save the design. Actually, no, I'll rename it. It's called Chop Fighterington. I'm going to call it the Acid Swarming Ton. And save the design. Okay, so we'll go back to the main menu. And let's go to combat. So, combat will be in lovely day. And add airship. It'll be in the acid swarmington and we want to have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that is a total of four thousand five hundred and ten generic units of currency slash um fighting points and we'll go for a building and the building will be something that's heavily armored which we've got a red wallington it's fairly terrible but it's also got a lot of armor it's also the wrong way around hang on close that actually you know what no land ship what have we got about four grand? Oh, the land carrierington is four grand. Pretty off oh, four four thousand four hundred and ninety-nine. So pretty much bang on the cost of what we need here. And also it does have fighters. So we're gonna put it about the actually further back for this thing is good, because it's got uh, guns and other things like that. So that's fine. Uh, these are probably a little bit high, but we will start it. So let's just pause it and go straight away. And ooh, ooh, that looks a bit naughty, doesn't it? That is firing acid from a big vial. Um, I assume... Oh, does it use... It looks like it's using ammo. Ugh. Ugh. It can either... When it fires, and it's going to go splat, and... Oh, it does actually cause a bit of damage. Uh, it's not very accurate, as you can clearly see. It's managing to miss, essentially, a barn on tracks. But um, when it hits, look at the damage it's causing around there. And hang on. Is that acid? -ed -ed? No, no, it's just green. I thought the, <laughs> the wings are green. I thought, has, has acid gone all over there? It has not. Uh, let me select all of these, and uh, we'll move back over, because quite honestly, we are getting shot to hell. Uh, and we don't want to get close to the flak. But as you can see, it is um, hitting this armor, and uh, just noshing its way through it. Yeah, that's gnawing the way straight through it. Look at all the damage. Look at the splash effect on it. Which I think is relatively new. I think the... The splash thing is a, is a new thing. Or at least it's something I've um, not really seen before. And, uh, oh dear, we are running out of ammo. Or maybe because the ammo's exploded on those. That'll, that'll, that'll make sense. Um, we've also got fire. I'm not too sure how, how an acid causes fire. But I guess if it chews through contained storage facilities, then, you know, we're obviously going to have a problem there. I have went on aim fired for these because, um, well, I thought it would be useful. But we are getting shot at by the planes. Still... Uh, wish there was uh, commands to, like, say, initially, like, always engage, craft first, or whatever, but, um, anyway. It looks like it's burning away, and it's burning from the top down, so that won't be able to have commands anymore, because I believe the bridge was, well, actually, you can see the bridge there, the map's just on fire there. So, it's not firing back at me either. These are running out of ammo, which we knew was going to be a problem anyway, because, well, it's a fairly small vessel, but, it seems to work. Against heavily armored targets, that's what it was for. Uh, not very accurate though, so I think we'll have to. I think we'll have to alter the way we use these. That's burning away quite nicely. I mean, look at that. That's, got, that's going a bit high, isn't it? Uh, looks like we've got a couple of explosions here, a couple of secondaries as well. 
And, oh yeah, that's gone. That, that, that's totally gone. Technically, it's still a fighting vessel because um, I think the fight... Is the fight is still about? Yeah, the fight is still about. It's still shooting me. Mm. And we might even lose this, now that I think about it, because we are almost out of ammo for most of these. Only want a couple of shots left. Yeah, so we'll probably lose this. We'll probably lose the fight, actually. But we know that the acid shooters are quite decent. Okay, so we'll leave that fight. Let's go for one more fight. Actually, yeah, one more fight. One more fight. Uh, so we'll go for a nice rainy day. And the typical British summer here. So we'll go for a airship. Acid Swarmington. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll add a building. Red Wallington V2. Spin it round, there you go. Lot of flak, lot of cannon, all sorts of stuff. But we'll add airship again, obviously, because we'll add another airship in here. And that's our 61 points over. Let's start the fight and see what happens. So immediately, acid spitting, regurgitating the contents of whatever the hell we harvested. Going to go on away and fire straight away. And there's the shots going in. And you can see it's hitting, and it's slowly causing damage all over the place. That's because obviously the splash effect is uh, working out. Uh, they are firing back at me. They're firing with... It looks like cannon and... Fl oh, that, that's grape shot, that. That's grape shot and standard cannon. Yeah, okay. Uh, you can see the damage that it causes. Because of the splash effect, it's causing massive amounts of... Oh, dear. Collapsation. Yeah, it's... Um, let's go down to there. Yeah, you can see that because of the splash damage, it's just really, really hurting it a lot. I just realized how many, how many fire doors did I need in this when I designed it? <laughs> I said design, design. It's like when you pour the Lego out from the box onto the carpet and you go, yay, that's a thing. <laughs> it's about got as much design as that. Well, that's still technically attached. Nope, it's no longer technically attached. And neither is the back bit. Yeah, that's, that's working out to be honest. When it comes to the acid flingers, yep, they're pretty good. Okay, we will leave that. Let's go back to the airship editor. And let's make something that's going to uh, utilize these things. So we've got the acid spitter. And we're going to have three, four... What's the arc of them, actually? What is the arc? Four. That's pretty good. It's a 90 degree fire arc. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it five. And then we'll have probably... I don't think we really go with a long-range shot. I don't think that's going to work out. Um, it's more of a case of we either go for a close-in brawler or we go for a long-range just fire and forget and hope it hits the target. Very much, very much American way of doing it. Uh, and if you don't like that comment, by the way, that's actually off uh, film and Sean Connery said it, so you, you can go and have a, uh, a word with him. Uh, so we'll... <laughs> We'll have some ammo stores, and I think we'll just put a ammo store section like so. Um, the, the film in question is uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which was, um, I believe, terrible in every way, if I remember rightly. Um, but anyway, that's been a long time since I've seen it. We'll go for... It'll be structural. Fire door. Down the bottom. And then... Well, we could separate it here. Although, what I might do is this. And move them up like so, because we'll be able to have them going along, and they're sort of surrounded now by fire doors. So if explosions, uh, let's have a quick look at the at the overlays of explosion, and well, that shouldn't trigger that. It should just blow these bits up. So if I have if I, if I have say that a corridor there, yeah, that corridor ain't going to take any damage. So it's just going to blow this bit up here. So we should be all right. That should be fine. Right, so we'll have this as a fairly tall vessel. Very blocky because that's the way we do things. And we'll have a fire point in, which will be, well, quite conveniently right in the center. We'll t turn the uh, overlays off. We'll have... Well, we need some way of crewing this thing. So I'm going to go with command and crew, quarters, two of those, probably a cockpit. Or bridge, actually. Then we'll have a crow's nest on here. Because crow's nest is just 10% increased accuracy. So we might as well do that. And I like the idea of it sort of pointing up that way. 
maybe. Yeah, something like that. Could have a targeting computer, but it's uh, not as standard. Although, to be fair, these in the campaign are not as standard. I believe you have, do have to... Um, I think you have to destroy a... Like a turtle or something, or some, something acidic to get it. Anyway, we'll place that on there. That's a... Uh, ooh, good grief. That's a large suspendium chamber, but only brings us to 149 meters with reinforced wooden armor. So, not great. Uh, we could put a suspendium tank on there, that, but that would just be insane. We need to go for some sort of propulsion, which I think we are aiming towards this being probably, uh, probably some sort of brawler type thing. Um, so, what sort of speed can we get it up to? Um, speed is 21 with that. Propeller... Even that there is speed 19. Not great. But at least we can do that and it'll look fairly cool. Whereas with this one. That there. And then. Nah, not going to work. I don't think I need much more than that. You know what, that's fine anyway. We're going to have that run across. And then obviously our coal stars. Which we're going to have to have a lot of coal stars. Uh, 121 metres, no problem. It's just just to go from A to B, obviously. Um, resources coal star. One. Two. Three, four. Now, very risky doing this. Putting them right around like that. But. Um, actually, there ain't any buts. It's, it's, it's just a case of it's risky. So let's um, try and alter that. Because, quite frankly, I think that would be a little bit problematic. There we go. We'll do that. There we go. So, uh, in terms of crew, we have 24 crew. Recommended is 29. So, we're going to get rid of that and put another one in there. Uh, that should bring us up to a total of 36 crew. 29 recommended. So, that's fine. Uh, need more supply hatches. So, that is quite a simple task. Reinforce steel cargo door. Is it called a cargo door now? I'm guessing it is. And there's... Yeah. Requires bonus heavy steel armor, large reinforced off quickly respawning ships and moving troops about. I don't know what the reinforced one is. Is it just more HP? Yeah, it looks to be more HP. Um, we'd be nice if there was a sealed one, so you have to fight over it. Uh, and then we're going to do that, which will um, give it a bit more taper. And I don't know why, but I like the idea of it just being a little bit further up, like that. In fact, what we could do, if we really wanted to, is have... A telescope there. There you go. Right, so it's all there. Uh, in terms of armor, I would like to go with some steel armor, but that brings our service ceiling to 11 meters. Not exactly the high flyer. So steel uh, wooden armor is 75 meters. Reinforced wooden armor is minus 7. Looks like we're going with wooden armor. We could go with whatever that is. That is shell armor. You've also got dragon hide as well. Shell armor is two blast, two piercing, uh, absorb or lift twenty. Lift twenty two. Oh, it gives you lift. Huh. Cool. Uh, dragon hide is fifteen blast, <laughs> absorbs five piercing. Stormwall. Yeah, I think we're a bit, bit too low for that. Let's just go for the wooden armor. Thank you very much. And we'll have some decoration on it. Do you want mouths? Uh. No, because it'll look... Uh, yes, it does look quite silly. It does look quite silly, so we're not going to do that. Um, we'll have a coat of arms on it. Go there. Wooden nameplate. We'll go in... There. So... It's the generic airborne vessel of... Um... Acid Spammington. Because that's what it's going to do. Save the design. Save that there. We'll leave that. Go to combat. Uh, nighttime. Pff, so be it. Uh, we'll add the airship. There it is. And we'll place it there. So not very high service ceiling, naturally. But it uh, it's only 2,000 points. So we'll go for... For the rare ship. So what's about two grand? Two grand is... There's a two grand. That's a Squishington. Probably not the best thing to fight against because it's fairly terrible. Zeppington is almost certainly going to beat us because it's overpowered to hell. And we could put another Acid Swarmington there, but it's not really what we want. Uh, Grip Brickington, it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, so we'll go for another airship. Uh, we need a little bit, something small. 
that's good enough. Okay, start the fight, and immediately you can see Shotter Wizzy. Now, there is the, uh... There's our Shotter Wizzy in there. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage. That's good. That's very good damage. I like that. I'm very impressed. Okay, so immediately we're going to say move and back over because I think it's trying to get up and around us, and we don't want that. So there's the shot whizzing out. I am doing stupid amounts of damage to it. Okay, these seem to be really powerful, and because I've got the bridge, I, I, can, I can stop it going over. I've already come down because this thing, that's its high service ceiling, so it can't go past. It's just decided to ram into us, which is a great shame. Uh, it looks like the... It looks like I've taken all the weapons on that, apart from the front, the front bit there. There's a little bit of front left. Um, yep, the front's getting taken out, and then the back end's just falling out there. Yeah, this is powerful. This is very powerful. You know what it is? It's not just because of the... Uh, my God, look at that. It's not just because of the like acidic effect now which damage it does. It's the blast radius. That is insane. Let's go to combat once again. Uh, we'll go for airship, acid, one, two, three, four, five. Ten grand with a plus change. Land ship. Got a Titan. Not bad. Marrington. Long tankington. Or long range tankington. Land carrier. Too, over, too overpriced. Flame tankington was always good. Uh, the Doggington was, was a bit of a dog, I must confess. Um, and we've got the Flackington. There's a lot of stuff there, but you know what? Let's go to Airship. So let's give it... Let's give these the ultimate test. Let's go for, like, Spider Assaultington. Two of those. And we'll go for Airship. We'll go for the Zeppington. One there. For Airship. We'll go for the... Clustering turn was interesting, but a bit crap. The drone ship was really good, actually, when it when it got going. Uh, Subington, actually, yeah, probably the Subington Mark II. We'll have a couple of those. I like the subs. I'll have to move that down a little bit so I can see the points cost. Six grand. Airship, once more. We could go for some... Swarmingtons, maybe? Don't know. That's a Sawington. That's quite good. And that's the Zeppington. I'll go for a mini grape shot. One, two, three, four, five. That covers the bottom. Nine grand. So airship. Actually, that's a landship. But let's just see if we can get something. There's a mini sniper. That should bring it about right. Oh, no. Chopper. Close enough. 10,208, uh, 10,820, 10,762. Start the fight. And immediately, lots of acid going up. Okay, that's quite bad actually, because as you can see, this is going to go right above me and shoot me. Well, we knew this was going to happen. That's why I'm backing up. But it looks like, because of the arc of fire, I'm able to hit that thing, which is useful. Uh, these, I'm going to say ram. Ram to the back. And, oh! Whoa, the suspension chamber uh, kicked out for a moment there. That's interesting. Um, this thing is already out of the sky, and I don't know why. The sp oh, the suspension chamber is completely broken. That's why. Looks like we've lost. That's already been defeated, and I don't know why. Oh, because that's all that's left of it, that little bit there. Oh, that, that bit is off. Where's that off? One, two, three, four, five. Where's that bit? Oh, hang on. <laughs> is that there? Is that the... Is that little section there part of... What was left of the other vessel? I think it might be, you know. I think it might that might be a little bit of the uh I think that bit might be a little bit of Zeppington. Either way. There's the other bit of Zeppington. That's hit the deck. Uh these are Saltingtons here, they're not doing it at all. They're not coming towards me and getting they're not, they're not using their you know a nice bonus of assault. Uh these guys are rapid firing quite heavily. In terms of ammunition, we've got ammo of 183 to 240, so you know what? That's fine with me. We are going to say target that thing there because they are going above us. If they get round, we're going to have a lot of problems. So I need to probably ram and say flip to there to shoot that. So as soon as we flip round, immediate shot. Look at that. Straight away, shots going in. Hitting the suspendium chambers. They're actually pressurized suspendium chambers, which are um, 
fairly powerful indeed. And it's coming out of the sky. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, that's bad. So all of these will say flip. Actually, we want to say ram and then flip. And flip round to there. And we'll then we'll start shooting over that side. These ones are sadly out of the game. This one at the top is... It's not able to move, and this bottom one, sadly, is able to move, but it can't because it's got a, one of those on the top. So we're down to one, two vessels now. Oh, technically three vessels, because this one's still firing. It's just a big block now. But, quite honestly, I think that fight's, I think that fight's done. I think we've won that. Um, this, by the way, <laughs> that noise, that, that grinding noise, that slightly annoying noise, is not just my voice, it's also uh, this thing here, just cutting into the top has been doing that for this well for the entirety of the game <laughs> and it's interesting because it's just cutting down the top and it's it's not getting anywhere like it doesn't it doesn't do it does very little damage <laughs> but it's uh it's 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 working away it's working its way through so um that one i think has got one or two one or two air holes in it uh <laughs> looks like an explosion in a girder factory or maybe some scaffolding with a suspendium chamber on it. That is just completely broken. Uh, if we go to outside view, you can <laughs> yeah, you can see through most of the ship. But, uh, yeah, it's still functioning. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's, that's that fight's over. The only reason we're still fighting here is because there's that thing there and that thing there still going on that thing there as well and because of the range you know we're just we're just not uh, we're not hitting them so we're gonna have to move forward we could do that but we'll end up winning either way that has been a little bit of airships conquer the skies once again that has been also the acid throw which is really good really good indeed looking forward to jumping that in a campaign speaking of campaign yes i will be doing a full campaign on this at some point as i have done several times in the past however i think the alpha 10 the update 10 is solely focused or the majority of it's focused around uh doing uh, the conquest mode uh, and redoing that to make it more interesting and such which is quite good now but uh, just you know working on that as well so either way hope you have enjoyed the video hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing the massive throws they're quite good they are very good indeed thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings